Today I'll be showing us how to use the segment tool, the count tool, and the single click tool. Previously, I've shown us how to use the linear tool and the area tool. Using the segment tool will help you achieve the same function as linear tool and the area tool. But here is the major difference that exists between them. Once you click on the segment tool to use it for any measurement, it's only able to take off for a segment of work or an item of work at a go and what that helps you do is that you can only click on two points that is clicking on the first point and then the second point for example when I select the segment tool then I type in the name of the segment I want to measure in this case I want to measure wall plate I hit OK Once I zoom in and I click on my first point, click on the second point, the function terminates. And if you want to keep on clicking, you can do that, but you can only click twice. Unlike our linear two. Once you're done with your measurement, you right click and stop. So that is how to use the segment two. Then the count two. The count tool is actually used for items of work that are enumerated. Those are the items of work like your doors, your windows, you know, your trees. Those are the items of work you can use these count tools to take measurement for. Showing you an example, once I click on this count tool, what do I want to count this time? I want to count my door one. And you can customize all of these things or all of these um yes you can customize the type of color you want to use in this case i want to use this color and um or better still i prefer blue then i go with blue and then you can choose the type of shape you want to use the count you know the doors and the windows just to give it you know differences so i will use this triangle this time all right, once I click OK, this is my door one. And the software keeps counting the number of doors for me. Once I am OK with that, and OK with the counting, I can now right click and stop. So that is how to use the count tool. You can see when I also click again on this count tool, I am able to change the shape of the tool that I'm using to count on my counting tool. In this case, let me use um, the circular tool or the circle tool. And once I click on this place and click on this door, uh, they are being counted using this uh, circle. So that is how to use the count tool. Again, I want to also show us how to use the single click. This single click, just like the segment tool, can also achieve the same function as that of the linear two and the area two. But there is this great advantage that this single click has over the area two and the linear two. For example, you have an irregular shape that you are unable to, you know, use the linear two and the area two to take off for. This single click is here to help you, you know, to take off for those kind of shapes. Just by a single click, you are able to take off for that space. But here is the limitation that exists in using the single click tool. If you have your drawing, or for example, here is my floor plan. If I have on this floor plan much details like my furniture layout, I am unable to, I will be unable to use this single click efficiently. What do I mean? This single click tool only selects the space that is well enough and doesn't have the markations. Or doesn't have you know line differentiating it or if it has like a furniture layout it can pick some parts and leave some parts but by you keep on clicking on those parts that you want to take off for you can also click those points so let me show us how to use this single click tool once i hit on this then it's showing me option i actually click on the arrow the the, the arrow pointing down and showing me different areas or different uh, 
tools that I can use this. But once I click on this place and then I select the area tool. And then what do I want to measure this time? Maybe, for example, I want to measure my screening for my floor. So I type in floor screening. Once I hit OK, then, um, for example, I'm using this room for example. On this master bedroom, once I click, then it selects a particular point and once I click again, you see that you have taken measurement for this master bedroom. But everything have not been selected. The reason being that I actually click and this dimension line is demarcating this particular place. So if you have a plain drawing that doesn't have, you know, demarcations or dimension line running through it or furniture layout running through it, you know, you can all use this single click tool efficiently. So you can look for a plain surface and a, a plain uh, compartment and use this uh, single click and you see that you will be able to, you know, take off your measurement efficiently without having to click uh, one point or the other. So that is how to use the single click tool. And once you're done with your measurement, you right click and you stop. So that is how to use the single click tool. So uh, in this short video, I've been able to explain to us how to use the segment tool, how to use the count tool, and how to use the single click tool. And your only your time, you can always play around it and then see what you can achieve with all of these tools. Thank you.